What's going on, smart people? Today is December 10th. Tomorrow, final grades are due, and as soon as I get them, I'm supposed to submit them. That way I can complete my application to the PhD program. And a lot of you have been commenting, asking, what will I do if I don't get in? Uh, thanks for the reminder, by the way. So I'm going to address that question in this video. So if I don't get into the program, what will I do? The short answer is, uh, Mama didn't raise a quitter. I was always taught that if these kinds of negative things happen, you learn how to take things to heart without taking it personally, learn from your mistakes, and try again. The only thing that's constant in all of this is that I'm going to get my PhD in physics. So if that day comes where I get an email that says, Mr. Dodson, we've reviewed your application. Unfortunately, we cannot offer you admission to our PhD program. Yes, it will be extremely defeating, but I will not be defeated. I am way too stubborn to give up on something that I am this passionate about. I mean, what do you expect from someone who makes videos on this every single day? Having said that, I think I'm self-aware enough to know that if it does or does not go in my favor, it's on me regardless, not on the school. So if I get the acceptance letter, it's because I succeeded. And if I get the rejection letter, it's because I did not meet their standard. Either way, it won't be the school's fault. Now, all of that I will not give up stuff is great and everything, but when it comes to the logistics, the school has a policy where up to nine credits are transferable into a PhD program. This semester I took nine credits. However, I did hear that under different circumstances you can get that waived and that credit threshold raised a little bit. And so if the worst happens, that's what I will be working on so that I can continue my education as non-degree seeking with those new credits, this new semester's credits, still being transferable into a PhD program. Having said that, uh, you have to have lived in New Mexico for 12 months prior to the semester that you were applying for in order to get in-state tuition. So that means if the worst happens, I will still have to pay out-of-state tuition, which will suck. But hey, who isn't poor in their early 20s? That means I'll be able to appreciate more when I am a PhD student and have a stipend, I guess. But long story short, I'm going to keep doing the PhD track, even if I don't get in this time around. It's going to suck, but one day, I will be Dr. Dotson. I am still optimistic about getting into the program though, so don't write me out yet. I'll see you guys tomorrow.